Yo, whoa. what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Clock Sports. Yo, let's talk about LeBron with more Jam capping on this podcast, man. Let's run the clip, man. Let's let's, let's just run through it. Let's go straight through it. Because I believe in 08, 09, or whenever that little light skin came in the league <laughs> that's in Golden State, he changed that whole narrative. He did. He singly hand, single handedly changed the no lead is safe. It's like it's like Pat Mahomes right now. It's interesting you bring up Steph because I think there's Love that guy. a Love long that. history of Steph. great players mm -hmm. that have impacted the game. Mm -hmm. And you can see a lineage between different skill sets, right? The, uh, Michael to Kobe, yeah. right? You can you can see that. Yeah. I don't know that there's been a player that has influenced the game more than Steph. And you can certainly point to, like, Harden, yeah. for sure, in that era, Damian Lillard, for sure. But it, you're right, it started with no, Steph. The, when it comes to influence, since, since I've been watching the game, since I've been watching the game, the most influence on the game, and obviously we know what Mike did for the game. Sure. You know, well, Steph and Allen Iverson are the, the two biggest influential guys in our game since since I've been watching and covering it, you know. One, they're 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 if you want to. Steph's not 6'4". If, <laughs> if you want to look on the back of a basketball card, you know, you're, you're always a lot taller on the back of the, on the, back of the basketball card. You know, Allen Iverson and Steph, they were just so relatable. And kids felt like they could be them. They were their, they were guys that was not always counted on. They were small in stature and they just def defined the odds. So you got AI who's like unbelievable crossover, corn rolls, arm sleeve. We wear arm sleeve. Everyone wears arm sleeve now because of Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. And he's going in the trenches, you know, laying it up over bigs, whatever the case may be. And now you have Steph who's shooting over the Empire State Building. You know, it's just like, those two are the two most influential when you say the game, how they change the game and the Okay. First of all, that's cap. Let's let's just okay. That's cap. That's cap. The most influential player that ever played this game is Michael Jeffrey Jordan. It's not even close. Alright? It's not even close. Players are still eating on Jordan plate. LeBron, you have you were in number twenty three because Michael Jordan. Your player, your inspirational player that you that you were watching, that you influential by, was it was Jordan. Why the hell would you choose to wear number 23? If Jordan was not your inspiration, if Jordan was not that influential, why you choose to wear number 23? You could have wear any other number. You could, if AI was your influential. How come it's only D Wade and Chris Paul is wearing it? Why didn't you wear it? You LeBron Ramon James. You could wear any number you want. Why you didn't wear number th three? This is no trade. This is not this is no hate to AI. This is no bad mouth to AI. AI was one of my favorite players. I used to I used to watch AI all the time. 2000, early 2000, AI was a monster. And the playoff, what he did against against Vince Carter, that was un, un ever seen. But was he was he in the the most influential player? No, he wasn't. He only had his shoes outsold Jordan one time. Your shoes never outsold Jordan. So Steph. Great for the game. Top 25 of all time. Depending on where you want to put him. That's your prerogative. But Steph is not the most influential player that ever played basketball. He's not. Jordan is. Like, what are we doing? So now we're changing the narrative just to elevate somebody else. For what? Why are we out here capping? Why are, he, why are we out here lying to the public?
listen, Steph Curry, he's great. He's a great talent. When it's all said and done, if you win another championship, they're probably going to move forward to probably top 15 of all time or top 12 of all time. But to say the most influential player is Allen Iverson and Steph Curry. Let's just talk about AI for a second. Half of the thing that you see AI done, Jordan did it first. The long sleeve. Jordan was doing that in the 90s. The long short. That was Jordan who started doing that. The the knee short. Jordan was doing that. Like, everything is, except for the cornrows and everything else, and the tattoos and stuff, that's AI. For the most part, AI model is game after Jordan. And I say that. I wanted to be like Mike. If I could be like Mike, what are we talking about? AI want to be Jordan bad. The only problem was if AI was a little bit taller, 6'4", six, 6'6", six, if AI was in Kobe height, we would have had a problem. Would have been, we would have a problem. And I know some of y'all going to say AI was a, he was a point guard. No, he was a shooting guard. AI was a shooting guard. You give the uh, Allen Iverson the ball, he'll shoot that motherfucker. Now, occasionally he'll pass. He'll give you an assist here and there. But he was a shooting guard. Steph Curry. As great as Steph Curry is. You can call him a combo guard. He's a good passer, but he don't pass the ball enough. But Steph is not even as the popular... The popularity of Jordan still have... Jordan still have a chokehold in the league as we speak. There is players I never played that never seen Jordan play. Then watch Jordan live. They still they believe Jordan is the GOAT. Jordan been talking about every single day. Jordan popularity went so high. It's almost like in the same in the same class as Michael Jackson. Jordan is in the class of Babe Ruth, Grisky, Muhammad Ali, Jane Brown. That's the class that Jordan is in. Even in that class, Jordan might surpass all of those players. Because when you talk about the most influential player that ever played, hands down is Jordan. You can go to a tribe. You can go to Africa right now. You go to a tribe that not even a tribe that is do things the old way. They they do things the old way, meaning they're still out here hunting for their food. They're still out here trying to go grab their own rice, go grab their own everything, go grab their own leaves instead of go to the market to get their stuff. You say, Michael, you go talk to them. You say, Michael Jordan, they know who Jordan is. That's how influential Jordan is. You go to Asia, any places in Asia, Indonesia, you say, Jordan, they know who Jordan is. The most influential player is not even close. Isaiah Thomas, the most hater, he's a hater. He said it himself. I'm still eating of what Jordan did for the game. What are we talking about? Your shoes that you wearing, LeBron, that nobody care for. Nobody buying. You still getting paid off that contract handsomely. It's because of Michael Jordan. Not because of Allen Iverson. Not because of Steph Curry. It's because of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Jordan turned the, the, the industry that you in right now. He turned it from, he took it from a one million to a billion, to multiple billion dollars company. Jordan did that. So when you come out here capping, saying Curry this, AI that, 
I promise you, I can go anywhere around the world. And I say, hey, I, some people might not know who Allen Iverson is. I can go somewhere. Anywhere around the world, I can say Curry. As big as you think Curry is, some people might not know who Steph is. But you say Jordan? The world, the world know who Jordan is. Even people who've been living under the rock. You got tribes that have been living under the rock. You say Jordan didn't know who Jordan is. You say Michael Jackson didn't know who Michael Jackson is. That's the, the level that Jordan is. That's the class, personified, that Jordan is part of. So for you to say what you for you to say what you said, that AI influential. No doubt AI was influential. No doubt. I was rocking his jersey. I wanted to play like him and everything. But he's not more influential than Jordan. Curry's not more influential than Jordan. Like, Gatorade is around. Gatorade is around. It's because of Jordan. Jordan make it cool to be drinking Gatorade. Gatorade will not be what it is today without Jeff, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Without Mike. In the 90s, in the 80s, Gatorade would probably wouldn't be relevant today if it wasn't for Michael Jeffrey Jordan. So when you come out here trying to create narratives and, and, and you're capping, you should be talking about the allegation. You should be talking about the fact that Cal Sennett say you, are, you and him have the same dealer. You should, you should be talking about the allegation about you taking steroids. You should be talking about how your wife and your white right hand man allegedly been on steroids. But to say Steph Curry, which is as great as Steph Curry is, changed the game. Yes, he did. But is he more influential? Then the GOAT himself, Jordan, absolutely not. Not even close. Not even close. And Steph Curry, shoes is selling. Steph Curry got a player under him right now, De'Aaron Fox. You've been playing for 21 seasons. You have a lifetime, lifetime contract with Nike. You know why you have a lifetime contract with Nike? It's because of Jordan. Before Jordan got to the NBA, Nike was on his way down. Nike was about to close out, close office. Jordan just signed with Nike, and Nike just take off. And and to tell this day, Nike is relevant today is because of what Michael Jeffrey Jordan did for, for them. Not you. Because with you, they ain't progress, they decrease. They didn't elevate. They went down. KD shoes was selling way more than you. Kyrie shoes was selling way more than you. I don't know why they keep you. Because you're not, you're not, you're not moving no needles. Your shoes not moving no needles. I go to Foot Locker. I used to go to Foot Locker all the time. Them LeBrons was always on shelf. Always on, always there. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody wearing your shoes. Hell, even d World's shoes was more popular than yours. But you still got a lifetime contract. Why? Because of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. He's the reason why players, athletes who play basketball can have, can get paid not only from playing the game and also with multiple, multiple different brands. Brand like Gatorade, brand like like the chips, Lay's, whoever. The reason why those, the reason why this is happening, is because of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Because without Jordan, none of this would be exist. So, the most influential player 
that ever played a game is Michael Jeffrey Jordan. It's not even close. Anyway, y'all, y'all know what to do, man. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell me how y'all feel in the comment. Peace.